Down in here. Up. That's right. Down. Head stretching time. And each and every time, since I told him, believe me, Lord. Not for a minute. Not for a second. Not for an hour. All right. And he never left my side. All right. Because he made a promise uh -huh. that mama, I love you, but she can't keep. All right. He made a promise that my daddy, I love you, she couldn't keep. Because yes. he got all the glory. All right. He got all the glory. But Jesus made a promise. He said, I'll tell you what. I will never leave you, nor will I ever forsake you. Yeah. Right. He's kept that promise. Yeah. Right. That's why my heart yeah. is filled with praise. Right. Right. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, from the Roman Catholic Roman, I want to congratulate you. Make it through his first year as pastor of this great church. Amen. And, and one thing you, you can say about Pastor Montgomery, it's a lot of things you can say. All right. But nobody can ever say that he'll work Amen. until the day is done. See, I work much harder than the mall. Not I, but the grace of God that was in me. Right. And that's the side of a man who appreciates, understands the grace of God. Because God can win anyone else, mm -hmm. but He's not going to do it to us. He's not going to do it to us. You need to be right, your the brother. He, he, he grew up in Fort but God planted him here. Anybody else could have stolen a thief or a wolf would have scooted out. Mm -hmm. But he kept the course. All right. And the world got on the street. Uh -huh. God started growing. Hey. Amen. 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 The world got out. Back when I first walked through the door, brother over there was sitting here waiting. Sitting here waiting. For the doors to be open. All right. Amen. So hear a word. Lord. All right, all right. Pray with me now, O oh Lord our God. I come into your presence to thanksgiving and come to your court to pray. Mm -hmm. And rejoice in your name, O oh God. Yes. We pray, O oh God, that I stand here this morning. That the meditation of my heart, the words that I speak, will be yours. Mm -hmm. That they may be accepted in your sight. Mm -hmm. O oh Lord, my strength. And now we do. All God's children stay together. Amen. 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 I want to point you to a particular passage of scripture, if you would. Some may know it, some may not. But it's found in the book of Mark, the fourth chapter. It's found in the book of Mark, the fourth chapter. And we'll begin our reading at the 35th verse. Somebody read it, somebody did not. Mark 4 and 35. And it reads this way. Mm -hmm. On the same day when Egan had come, he said to them, Let us cross over to the other side. Mm -hmm. Now, when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he was. And other little ships, little boats, were also with him. Mm -hmm. and, and a great storm, a windstorm, arose, and the waves of the boat, waves beat against the boat, so it was already half full. Mm -hmm. But he was in the stern asleep. On a pillow. And they awoke him, they awoke him, and said to him, Teacher, do you not 
Lord knows do you not care that we are passion? And then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace be still. All right. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. But he said to them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they said, and they fell amongst each other exceedingly and said to them, What kind of man is this? Mm. That even the wind, that even the sea, uh, obey his words. Uh, I want to talk this morning about life's lessons. Life's lessons mm -hmm. from the master of life. Uh, life's lessons from the master of life. Uh, when you sit here last year, on this celebration when y'all got the in the month, it was a glorious time, a great celebration. Mm -hmm. We all rejoiced. We all were happy. Because Dad and Star were going in a new direction, and our friend, the mm -hmm. pastor, right. was getting his start. Right. And it was November, and we were looking forward to a great year come 2020. Mm -hmm. Exciting time, 2020. 2019 was wrapping up. But 2020 came. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a year it was. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Amen. 2020 showed up. Amen. Pandemic Amen. showed up. Yes. Civil unrest showed up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Police shootings showed up. This rest and conflict within a political system showed up. Yes, 2020 was a rough year. Yes, and it's still a rough year to yes, But I want to remind somebody this morning, God knew it was coming. Yes. God seen 2020 before we seen it. Yes. It wasn't new to him. Yes. And in times like this, even in that time, in times like this, we have seen before. Yes. I'm going to go old school on somebody today. Right. You remember Martin Day? Huh? Martin Day had a song out years ago, back, back in the 60s. Huh? It was called, What's Going On? Y'all yeah. yeah. remember? Yeah. Yes, and he said, what's going on? Because all those civil unrest and things were happening back then. Yeah. Pick it back. Yeah. Don't punish me with brutality. That's right. That's right. He said, what's going on? Yeah. But he concluded with all of that. He said, make me want to hide. Yeah. 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 He said, make me want to hide. Yes, sir. Yes. Throw up my hands. Mm. Because this ain't living. This ain't living. Mm. Yeah. I wish I could have told Martin back then. Mm. I know somebody who knows something about living. Mm. Yeah. If you open up your Bible, you can find out somebody who knows yeah. about living. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jesus knows about living. Yeah. In fact, he said that he said, he said, I came that you may have life. Yeah. And that you may have it more abundantly. Yeah. Look at what he said. I am the life. Yeah. Yeah. No one comes to the Father but by me. Yeah. I came that you may have life. Right. And have it more abundantly. Yeah. Yeah. Because if anybody knew about living, it was Jesus. Yeah. And if you check the record today, that's my lesson in the chapter we just read. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus had just gotten through checking what he had just got through what we call the Sermon of the Mount. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Y'all don't mind, give me a second. <laughs> he said, I am the watch. That's what he said. Uh, all right. Come on, Ram. And he just got through all the Sermon on the Mount. And on this Sermon on the Mount, he started out to let them know, blessed uh, are those who are poor in spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Not just poor for nothing. He said poor in spirit. All right. All right. Yeah. He said when you're poor in spirit, you know what happens? The kingdom of God opens up to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ain't that something? Yeah. He said blessed are those who mourn, who are troubled, right. because they can't be comforted. Yeah. He said you are happy and blessed when you're hunger and thirst for righteousness. Yeah. Because you're going to get filled. Right. He reminded them, he reminded us that you are the salt of the earth. All right. He said, God, you are 
valuable. All right. But he didn't use salt like money was preserved. He said, no, you are the value of God. And don't right. let nobody tell you you ain't value. All right. God knows who I am. Amen. And you are valuable to him. All right. And when you know you're valuable, valuable to God, you stand up straight. Yeah. All right. You stiff like right. your back. Yeah. You walk like you somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Did we say that in the Bible? Uh, man the kids back in camp. I am somebody. Yeah. I might be poor, but I am somebody. Yeah. I might be young, but I am somebody. Yeah. Jesus told me that I am somebody. Yeah. He told them, he tells us, that's who we are. Yeah. We, we, we're valuable to God. Yeah. And he had it on the mountaintop. What we call now is in-person learning. Because he was a great teacher. Yeah, yeah, and he yeah. had the disciples sit up front, but there was crowd all behind. Uh -huh. You know the teacher used to make you sit up front. <laughs> <laughs> you go in the door, you gotta get the back. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But he had to open for the disciples. There were people piled up in the classroom, and Jesus taught them all these things. Yeah. He said, if you got faith, of a mustard seed. Yeah. So you can move mountains. Yeah. Yeah. He taught us over and over again. Mm -hmm. But like any good teacher, he understood mm -hmm. that all things are not learned in the classroom. All right. Because you have to get out in the world yeah. to understand what's going on and to, 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 to react to things that are in life expression for what you learn in the classroom. So he made the announcement to everybody, we're going on a field trip. All right. We're going to go on a field trip. Y'all remember the field trip? Uh -huh. The mama used to send you out on, the teacher send you out on. Right. She said, remember when you went on those field trips to Mammoth Cane and other places? Mama would be a little bad. Right. Eat the bologna sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate ho ho. <laughs> Bag of chips yeah. and a can of warm pot. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. He said, We're going on a field trip. All right. Because you understand, what you're learning here, you got to experience out there. All right. So he said, Instead of taking a the bus, they took a boat. Mm -hmm. Amen. They took a boat. All right. And the said, He went down, they took him down the boat, and they got on the boat. Yeah. That's a lesson right there. Uh -huh. you, you can always think Jesus is trying to take you somewhere. Uh -huh. Listen, he's trying to move you somewhere. Well. But if you can you can't stay in the classroom, you have to go out and really be willing to follow him. Uh -huh. And the truth is, you can't have one foot on the boat uh -huh. and one foot on the ground. Yeah. You gotta put both feet in. Yeah. You gotta put it all in. Because what happens if you put both one foot in? Put in and one foot out, mm -hmm. you, you get a good shaky, don't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. Cause the boat trying to move you, but you right here. Yeah. Two men in the church got one foot in, uh -huh. yeah. one foot out, all right. All right. and then they start shaking it all about. <laughs> <laughs> they do the hokey pokey and they turn us up and down. Come on, somebody. I'll find. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. The wind was coming from the mountain, pushing down the cold uh, wind down the back, and it switched places. And what happened was, it made the waves kick over. When the waves kick over, then the ship got right. Mm -hmm. I want to tell somebody that sometimes things happen to you may not have something happened over there. Yeah. And it starts to affect you. Over here. All right. So the bottom line is the ship got rocking. Yeah. The ship got a little shaky. Mm -hmm. And water was coming in. Mm -hmm. And water was coming out. And they were trying to fix the situation, pouring the water out of the And the fishermen were saying they were kept rolling, and then they kept rolling. And I want to touch them, but there's a lesson here. All right. What they were going through, personally, the other ships, they go through the same thing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell somebody today. Yeah. All right. Don't think you're by yourself. Yeah. All right. When you're going through something. This pandemic going on, the balance going on, mm -hmm. the bottom line is, you have to pray for somebody else. Yeah. Somebody needs to pray for you. Yeah. You need to watch out for somebody else. Yeah. Somebody needs to watch out for you. Yeah. If you got all this communication going on Facebook, Facebook them. Mm -hmm. Call them. Yeah. Let them know. I understand what you're going through. Yeah. Because I've been there myself. Yeah. You pray for me. And I'll pray for you. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. And I need you to survive. Yeah. Yeah. I need you. Right. Amen. Amen. And sometimes when things go bad, start to go bad when things are all by us. And that's a lonely place to be. Yeah. Because that's when the devil gets in you. Come on, son. You know it's just you. It's all of your fault. You should have been this. You should have went back. That's why we mess you in. But the bottom line is, the truth of me is, he worked on us. That's why I'm still in this pandemic. Seriously. You need to call somebody. Say, hey, I was just thinking about you. All right, all right. I was just kind of worried about it. Huh? I knew I can't come in, but here's a box of food that left outside. Yes, sir. I had my brother in there. True story. My brother was all in the room. Five hours. And I got a knock on the door. And he stuck his head in the door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought something said. Mm -hmm. And I said, what? He said, see you later. Yeah. I started to figure out, man, he had food and groceries and all kinds of things, a, a coat and some gloves. He just, for some reason, he stopped by my house. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And he left us there. Mm -hmm. Because he left us there. He didn't figure out I knew what he did. Uh -huh. So, the rest of the thing is, don't think you're going through things by yourself. Well, uh -huh. other people are going through it too. And one of my things will say is something. Remember, you think about yourself and yourself alone. That's all you think about is you. Mm -hmm. You don't know your world shrinks. Mm -hmm. Your world shrinks. Yeah. It shrinks, and then I say you're irritable. Nobody will be around you mm -hmm. because you always think about. I ain't gonna say it by Donald Trump all you long. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but when you think about others, uh, your world opens up. All right. All right. All right. When you think about somebody else, yes, the world expands. Mm -hmm. There's a lesson I'm doing because what they were going through, the little ships were going through too. Uh -huh. And try and try and they might. They couldn't keep the water. Strong men, fishermen, John, Peter, Andrew, John, strong men who've been there before. Yes. Oh, yeah. They knew the sea could get rough. Uh -huh. They've been there. But they couldn't handle this. That's right. As much as they tried, as much as they tried. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you this morning, sometimes, as strong as you think you are. Well. 
Something is your pain in. Don't put your chest up. Because strong as we think we are, we can't handle some things. And then when they turned around and looked at Jesus, Jesus said, there's a lesson here. Just like this, because you are out of control. Don't mean God's out of control.
The situation around there is still chaotic, but Lord, just give me peace. some peace. Right. And peace is not this. Peace is not the absence of conflict. Well, peace is internal. All right. Because of the conflict, mm -hmm. I feel it's going to be all right. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's going to be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Because of the conflict. Yeah. Somebody said when 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 Attending my way. Yeah. And sorrows like seed in this road. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whatever my life, mm -hmm. he has taught me to say. Yeah. He has taught me yeah. to say. Yeah. It is well. Yeah. It is well. Yeah. It is well with my soul. Because yeah. I know this. The lesson is this. This pandemic is going to go. Mm -hmm. Don't know when it's going to stop. Don't know how it's going to stop. Mm -hmm. But I know this. I know that he knows all about it. All right. Come on, son. Yes, yes. Civil rights may still be on issue tomorrow. Yes. But I know this. He knows all about it. All right. I may have trouble in my home. Huh? But I know this. Yes. He knows all about it.
Happy birthday! Amen. Amen. 